you gotta know when it's time for you to make that decision, right? And to have that confidence that you are fantastic at your job. You know how to do this and you can make that call. And even if it's wrong, you showed me your leadership, right? You showed me that confidence. In today's music business tip, I'm going to be discussing the five easy tips on how to become a legal assistant in entertainment law. So I am an entertainment attorney. I'm the owner of an entertainment law firm uh, called Delgado Entertainment Law. And then, of course, on this channel, Top Music Attorney, I'm dedicated to helping those in the music business understand how the business works, right? How to stay legally protected. So whether you are someone who is trying to be a legal professional or you are a legal professional or you're more on the artist creative side, I got you covered. So what we're going to do, obviously, is jump into actually talking about legal assistance and paralegals, which, you know, People use interchangeably. There are some differences, but it's kind of like saying lawyer and attorney. So in any case, let's jump into it. Um, number five on my easy tips on how to become a legal assistant in entertainment law, DIY, go to school for yourself. Okay. Um, today I gave a presentation to a pair or at a paralegal conference. And, um, you know, as a lot of the paralegals in the room have been in their fields for a long time, they haven't gotten into entertainment law, but they're interested. Okay. And so before you just go and apply somewhere and be like, Hey, can you just teach me everything, you know, which is not really going to be very appealing, right. To a prospective employer. Um, what is more appealing if you actually, or is, if you actually have a little bit of background or understanding or knowledge and it doesn't take that much time. This is the beautiful thing. Okay. So DIY going to school for yourself. Think of it like you are a car repair man. What do you call that? <laughs> There's a word, but in any case, you know, if someone's coming to you to be like, Hey, I want to, you know, get that help from you. A mechanic just came to me. Uh, so if you're a mechanic, you know, obviously if someone's coming to get that help from you, they want to know that you already know your stuff. Okay. Same thing when you are a legal assistant saying, Hey, I want to come to support you. And so here's all the stuff that I know how to do. So you can increase your skill set, which is helpful towards actually landing that job, but it's going to be more helpful towards landing a higher paying job. But in any case, you know, have the baseline, obviously no Excel, no PowerPoint, Word, Adobe Pro. Um, and you can even learn platforms like Loom, right? So these platforms where you can record your screen so you can send overviews and explanations. So that's all great just to being like, hey, I'm a very efficient person that can help with this basic stuff. And that's all stuff that you can learn for free on YouTube that you can spend a couple of hours over the course of a few weeks to become really proficient and to know kind of higher level stuff, okay? So that's number one, let's get that out of the way. But number two, when we now start doing a deeper dive into, well, what is entertainment law, okay? Typically we're talking about a hybrid of business and intellectual property for entertainers, okay? Um, and so that might be something in music, it might be something in film, right? It might be something for like licensing and brand deals, we're working with influencers and authors, but really what we're doing is business law. So within that, the great news is that there are a lot of industry standard things that you can go and learn. And look, I'm a big proponent when it comes to free learning on YouTube. You absolutely can go and purchase courses and you can go through like a couple hours and get all the information. And that's great. And I definitely suggest doing that to invest in yourself, but obviously tee yourself up by just consuming the free content to start. All right. Um, so start to learn about industry standards, start to learn about how this stuff works. You can even start obviously on this channel. Tom Music Attorney is dedicated to teaching you this stuff. Okay. So DIY, you're going to school because you're investing in yourself. Now that you have all of this great knowledge on how to be a kick-ass paralegal and you have a deeper dive and understanding about the music business, right? About entertainment or a specific area. If you're totally into film, beautiful. You're going to take that and number two, when it comes to how to become a legal assistant in entertainment law, you're going to now apply for a job. Okay. So you might be applying, you know, for an internship, but obviously I think that if you're at the point where you're like, no, I'm good to go. I really want this to be like the real thing, whether it's part-time or full-time you're applying. So all those special skills, all that extra stuff that you now know or know how to do all that goes on your resume. And with your resume, you're also going to do a cover letter. And on that cover letter, you're going to say something super spicy, 
not spicy, something super attractive and wonderful about your prospective employer. Do some research. On their website, they're going to have something. We've been, you know, around since blah, blah, blah. We're founded by blah, blah, blah. Like, do a little bit of research, okay? And show that you care with your cover letter. You could even go a step further and do a little video, right? You can do a video with your phone, okay? You upload that unlisted to YouTube. You can use a platform like Loom, L-O-O-M.com, and you can record a quick video on that platform through your computer. So in any case, have your resume cover letter and or a little video, and that's how you're going to make your presentation to the prospective employer, okay? And then be mindful of your social media present. Understand that, like for someone like me, when I hire legal assistants, I am stalking you out before you and I actually speak, okay? Because I want to see, are you posting at all? Because for me, I actually want to see more of that, right? I want to see that you are active and you are talking about what you're learning because that's what I do. For me, that's a good thing. And in fact, I kind of share the story that my um, my top executive paralegal, when we interviewed him, you know, the interview was fine. He's super experienced. He had a great resume, but he was really boring in the interview. I've said this to him. And it wasn't until after the interview when I was looking at his social media, I came to find that he was a rapper. He was super into the music community. He liked to dress up as a vampire to be in music videos. I'm like, this guy's amazing. And he got the job. So just understand that your social media does play into the perspective of who you are. So keep that in mind, which then brings us to number three on our list of how to become a legal assistant. I think I just did that all out of order. We were supposed to do five, four, three, two, one. So we did five, we did four, now we're at three, yay, which is be a problem solver, okay? Um, so when it comes to being a problem solver, really utilize YouTube and Google, okay? So I, this is one of the top things that I say to the team that works with me. You know, before you bring a problem to me, take time to try to figure it out yourself. I don't want you to not tell me, I don't want you to hide it from me, but I want you to, when you bring it to me, say, hey, this is the problem, these are all the solutions that I tried and either I figured it out or I still am trying to figure it out and I need help. Either way, if you show me that you have been trying to problem solve, then you are that much more valuable because now you're not just saying, hey, Chris, so I couldn't figure it out and now I need you to figure it out. That doesn't do me much good, okay? So when it comes to being a problem solver, absolutely at the top of the list of really important things to do when you are in that position, okay, of working for someone or with someone. All right, so number, because now we're going in reverse order, number two <laughs> on my list of easy tips on how to become a legal assistant in the entertainment field, exercise, good communication, okay? Over communicating in the beginning of your relationship is not a bad thing, okay? Being super clear on what needs to happen, connecting with your employer, is super good. And I say this with my team because I'll be like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm bothering you. Oh, I have another question. Sorry, it's the weekends. Like for me and my team, we're going 24 seven. And I'm always gonna say to the team, no, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you did reach out. Okay, especially when it's a newer relationship. The only caveat to this is you can start over communicating after a certain period of time. Okay, so in kind of the progression and training of someone, if you are over communicating for stuff that you have been doing now for a year, right, two years, you should have that confidence. And that's the difference and something that I've really tried to instill in my teams, paralegals, legal assistants. You got to know when it's time for you to make that decision, right, and to have that confidence that you are fantastic at your job, you know how to do this, and you can make that call. So then when you start to skill up, right, you'll be able to be like, nope, this is the decision I made. And even if it's wrong, you showed me your leadership, right? You showed me that confidence. So it's a fine line in the beginning, over ask questions, make sure you're doing it right. But as you go along, exercise that confidence and know that you are the person overseeing that project, right? I love to, you know, use uh, Donna as a reference from the Suits show. And she's the lead executive paralegal. And I mean, like she is the badass above anyone else on that show, in my opinion. She's capable, she's competent, she's confident, and she's solving everyone's problems before they even know that they need it. Right. So that's the kind of thing that we want to see with legal assistants and paralegals. Um, all right. So then that brings us to number one. 
If you guys have been getting value from this video, please be sure to drop a like um, and share it out to one person. It helps us to grow. We want to get as much information out to artists, people trying to get into the legal field. So the likes really, really help. All right. So number one, when it comes to easy tips on how to become a legal assistant in entry law, understand the importance of do's and don'ts. Okay. So let's start with the do's. Do research solutions to problems. I've highlighted that now a few times because it is so essential. Okay. Learn new skills. Every time you learn something that if you're my legal assistant that I don't know how to do, you just became that much more valuable because you know how to do something. You can train me and you're showing me that you're the kind of person that will always be growing. So you're the kind of person I want to continuously give a raise to, that I want to give promotions to. Okay. Um, suggest you want to suggest workflow improvements. What's better ways to do things, right? Suggest new policies, upsell clients. How are ways that we can keep clients involved longer? Be a salesperson. It's okay to kind of have different hats that you wear. Ask for help, have a positive attitude. And then of course, take responsibility when you make mistakes. Okay. If you make a mistake and you try to hide it or you lie about it, then you're going to break that trust very easily. It's one of those things you can break trust with like one, you know, screw up that you hide or you lie about. Um, and then that trust takes a very, very long time to either reheal, you know, remend or you don't. So then on the flip side on the, well, don't do these things. Don't lie about mistakes. Don't blame others when you mess up and don't blame others if they are partially at fault, but you were too right? That just doesn't look good. You don't want to be the kind of person who's like, well, yeah, I mean, oops, I kind of missed the deadline, but you know, you forgot to remind me too. It might be true, but I don't think anyone who's kind of making excuses in that instance is going to look very good and it's just not received well. You always want to just take responsibility and be like, yep, my part in this failure was this. This is what I'm going to do to correct it. And that way you can move through it faster and you're not kind of stuck in emotion. Okay. Don't yell at clients. <laughs> Don't be rude. Don't yell at your boss if you get pissed off about something. Don't burn bridges. Don't allow yourself to be disrespected. Don't be late or unprepared. And don't give legal advice. As a legal assistant, as a paralegal, you're not a licensed attorney. And so that can result in real bad ouchies for you if you do give legal advice to people. Okay? So those are my five Easy tips on how to become a legal assistant in entertainment law. And, you know, for me, I am always, and the reason I wanted to touch on this is because I'm always vetting new potential legal assist assistants. As we are continuing to grow the law firm, we are expanding. And so I'm always looking for talent. And so that's why, you know, this is stuff that's on the front of mind for me of what I'm looking for, how I want to get someone in, how I want to get them trained and how they're going to start crushing it really fast. And, you know, I talk about taking courses and that kind of thing. I mean, you know, one of my courses on building your own music business, the whole way that it is structured is teaching you about the music business. So, you know, there, I have attorneys who are going through this course in order to teach themselves how to become entertainment attorneys. Okay. They're going to become my competitors, but the fact that they can go through that, educate themselves is fantastic because they're investing in themselves. And so, um, you know, DIY, Go to the free sources first, check out them YouTube videos, and uh, thank you guys for watching.